record hopefully we can try <laughs> okay let's try thank you very much that you decided to take participation in my small video so yeah um, the idea of my YouTube channel so I divided it into three parts the first part will be like discussion the second part i will devote to some links and interesting resources but i think the most important usually on youtube channels lots of people who just making blah blah all 12 minutes or something like this and i think it's very important when people have different opinions and can listen to real people who faced some kind of troubles or happiness and so can you uh, help others to understand what to expect when you come into Belgium? So what shocked you most of all and what you liked most of all? Yes. Um, what was shocking for me was the diversity. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so first when I moved to Belgium, I went to Bruges and uh, even there I saw uh, that there were a lot of different cultural differences uh, between Belgium and Romania. And then uh, in Brussels, I was wowed all the time by the, by the people, by how they, by their culture and the, that they are so different and that still they find a way to live together. And I was uh, trying to figure out what would be my uh, thoughts, my in such a such a city. Yeah. And for example, you studied here too. Yeah, you've studied in Freie Universität. Yes, I studied my master's in uh, Freie Universität Brussels. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what was there? What challenges were for you? Uh, well, it was a, a, the language challenge at first because uh, I had to switch uh, everything into English and uh, uh, it was uh, difficult to start to know all the notions. So for my first exams, I had to use quite often uh, the um, uh, vocabulary um, because <laughs> it was difficult to study completely in a different language. But that yeah. uh, that turned out to be uh, okay after the after the first session. So, yeah, everything turns out. And did you have the same like we have, for example, when we apply for the university from Russia, we have to make these exams Yeltsin and TOEFL. You did it too? No, I did not have to. So, uh, it was not required for me, from me. Um, I just had to submit the motivation letter for, for getting accepted. Uh, the motivation letter had to be done in English. They did not ask uh, this. As I come from uh, within the EU, they did not ask uh, um, such a certification from my side. Anyway, I had one, but it was uh, one that I got during uh, high school, so it was not internationally renowned. Mm -hmm. And at the end, how so many years you here? Uh -huh. And how many years you now living in, in Belgium? Like you coming and going and you have projects abroad too, yeah. Uh, so, um, all, all in all I'm living six years and a half, so in, well, almost seven years in Belgium, yeah. Mm -hmm. And after these seven years, uh, what is the diversity of your friends? So do you have a lot from Belgium or you have more kind of more international people who come into the Belgium, you know, like expats? Yes. Um, it is a bit difficult to uh, to get more Belgian friends here yeah. in Brussels because yeah. there is a large community of expats, uh, people com coming all over the world to live in Belgium because they are also attracted by the Euro to work in the European institutions. Um, there is a big community of Romanians here. And uh, since my master's program, I've met uh, I've met a lot of Romanians, and it's of course uh, easier to uh, stay around and make friends among people with whom we have a lot of. Uh, you can speak uh, your national, or you can speak your local language. Yeah, you can speak yes, your local, I can speak yeah, my local language. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, 
of course that is I think for everybody much easier you know, like it's, uh, you you can speak the same you have a, uh, a more similar way of thinking yeah because uh, yeah when when you get to know more when after you stay a bit longer in Belgium or in abroad you figure out that people coming from different countries have also different mindsets yeah and then of course you feel more attractive and safer in a way when you are speaking with people who understand a bit more of who you are and language yeah. is very important so yes uh, yeah um, i have the same but feeling i also yeah. tried um, during time to to get uh, more uh, integrated in belgium and that means also making belgian friends as well as other expats from uh, different nationalities yeah that yeah, but um, in my experience, actually, like I used to work in KBC Bank, and you know, not so many Belgians kind of tend to have friends from multinational environment. They really kind of more family, keeping close together, you know, staying one with each other. So if you will see in Frau Universität, uh, probably we had the different programs. You you studied law, or you studied management. I studied management. Yeah, so we had almost the similar program, almost the same. And you can see that it's mostly international students. This particular management program is very much uh, kind of Erasmus, yeah, students. And yes. students from different countries, not so many Belgians. Uh, yes, I also noticed that uh, Belgians um, keep more among themselves. Um, during these seven years, I thought about it, and uh, I also went to different stages in my life. Stages where I was more about uh, uh, having a nightlife or going out with friends. Stages when I felt on the big down, and so uh, I understand the uh, Belgians because uh, it's difficult to make yourself uh, friends and then and then see them leaving. So when uh, it comes to getting expat friends, you don't have the certainty that they are also going to stay. While the risk uh, is much lower if you get uh, local friends. Yeah. Because they hold their family here, their roots, and uh, here is a, a good life. Uh, you can have a good lifestyle. And then uh, they don't really have for reasons to leave. Everybody wants to come to Belgium, not to leave it. Yeah. Ah, bless you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. I'm coughing. I'm, I'm just sick already the 10th day, you know, after this trip to Spain. I'm just ah, back pain and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, I wanted to make like not not big interview, you know, like five minutes or so to, to make impression because for people to understand and to practice English because most of my channel is in Russian but if they want to come to study they need to understand different accents and you know to yeah, listen uh, different yeah. English speaking people too <laughs> thank you very much thank you see you on Friday <laughs> thank you, Bye. Bye.